Hi, I'm Benjamin, author of Master Math Models and Lead Tutor at Trinity Learning Centre. My goal is to make math simple, and today I'm going to help you with the PSLE 2024 Common Factors question. Okay, before we begin, always read the keywords, so let's begin with keywords. First, it says that the sum of two numbers is 60. Okay, simple enough. Each of the numbers is less than 40, and it has exactly six factors. The common factors of the two numbers are 1, 2, and 4. Question, what are the two numbers? All right, so there are a few limitations here that helps you to narrow down the numbers that you can use. Okay, we do know that they expect you to add two numbers together to get 60. So we have two numbers. Okay, let's say this is the first number, this is the second number, and it must add up to 60. We also know that the numbers must be less than 40. And so I'm going to put two things together. It is less than 40 and it has to be a multiple of 4. Because if 4 is a factor, then the number needs to be a multiple of 4. And what are the multiples of 4 that are less than 40? Well, 40 itself is a multiple of 4, but below 40, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to go from 40 backwards. So before you get 40, you get 36. So if I were to take 36, then I will see that 36 is 1 times 36, 2 times 18, 3 times 12, and 4 times 9. Now, this is disqualified. The reason this is disqualified is because it needs to have exactly six factors. But here I have eight. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that makes 36 the wrong solution. So if this is wrong and we can't use 40 and we can only go backwards, then the next number must be 32. So let's try 32. So 32 is 1 times 32, 2 times 16, 4 times 8, and there are no other uh, factors. So we know that 32 has fulfilled the condition of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 factors. It also has the factors of 1, 2, and 4, 1, 2, 4. So it has fulfilled everything and it is also less than 40. So let's say this number is 32. But in order to confirm this, what you need to do next is ask yourself, what about this number? Well, we know that 32 plus this number will give me 60. So what is that number? Obviously, you need to take 60 minus 32 and you will get 28. And you now need to check if 28 fulfills all the same conditions. So let's try. 28 would be 1 times 28, 2 times 14, and 4 times 7. Six factors. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Less than 40. 28 is less than 40. And it needs to have 1, 2, and 4. 1, 2, two and four it fulfills one two three all conditions so we can put it and since 32 plus 28 is 60 we now know that the two numbers must be 32 and 28 so we say the two numbers are 28 and 32. Okay, did you find this easy to use and understand? Well, if you did, I would appreciate it if you could give me a comment, let me know, as well as if you want to know about uh, how to solve all the other questions using a quick and simple way, uh, please subscribe. You can watch all my playlists, and if you want a clean version of this worksheet to try and practice for yourself, you can find me on the Telegram group found in the description. For classes, my number is there too. 
Okay, otherwise, I'll just see you at all the other questions that I'm doing for PSLE 2024. I've already done that for 23, 22, and some of the years. Look for them, and I'll see you again at the other questions. Bye-bye.